was about a year ago, a little less, when I realized it wasn't right. It was the last time the cops showed up. Well, maybe it was. No, no. It was the night after they left. Do you know what it's like to see the person you cherish most hurt by the person you love most? The person you honor, respect, your hero. I do. And I know what it's like to be responsible for it. No matter what anyone says, you know, that if it wasn't for you, for me, that none of it would have ever happened. The last time the cops showed up, the last time we lied our way through another trembling line of questions, I decided I wasn't going to forgive him. Not until he said sorry. Sorry for the fight in the bathroom that left him laying there, and me crying, hiding in the closet. Sorry for the fights in the car that sent us home crying and screaming. Sorry for all the times it ever happened. Sorry for making me think that I was the crazy one. And sorry you had to go spend some time with the doctor. Yeah, that's what we call it, the doctor. He never said sorry. But he's still the one I love most. He's, he's still my hero. But for the first time after that night, I told him it wasn't right. I yelled, I screamed, I cried, and shook. He wouldn't look at me. He couldn't look at me for a long time. But I felt empowered. I felt like a person for the first time, not just a morsel of someone else's mistake. And I could stand up on my own two feet, even if it was up to my hero. It's experiences like these, when you're broken down into a million tiny little pieces, and you pick up the pieces and make something. You make, you become someone, something real.